hi guys welcome uh to my channel greedy shredder i uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic uh weekend now in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to set up market profile for mt4 now also at the end of the video i'm going to tell you exactly how you can get hold of this mt4 tool that i've got for and um, this market profile sorry tool that i have for mt4 so i'm going to show you exactly how I get it so you can zoom in so it's pretty clear very crisp and clean so uh, you can get this and I can show you how you can get that for free at the end of this video now moving forward so I'm going to show you guys how to set it up now I know there have been a lot of questions uh, a lot of people have asked me how can I get a hold of a uh, market profile for MT4 but now you know and there also have been a lot of questions on how to set it up so I'm just going to show you guys how to set it up and if you're interested in again this tool for MT4 then so you're a trader just working with market profile for the first time or you're searching right now and trying to google what is market profile then um, essentially this is um, you're the right place not in other words so let me show you first and foremost how we set it up so I'm going to do a, a completely completely fresh install I think that's uh, hugely important if you guys are going to know how to do it so I'm just going to do a fresh install right now so I'm just going to open another tab for cable now one of the things the first things you want to do is ensure that you have it set up so that it's a white background okay so the first thing you want to ensure is that you've got a white background so I'm just going to do I've got a couple of templates saved let me see if this is the right one and yes it is so we want a white background always for our market profile too so now I'm going to go ahead and it, well when you want to install the tool so when you get the x4 files so if you don't know how to work with the x4 files uh, you want to go to file and you want to go to open data folder okay that will open your data folder and then you want to select uh, mql uh, mql4 and then you want to go into the indicators folder and that is where you store your ex4 files you should see other ex4 files in that folder okay and that's where you keep generally all your ex4 files and then you've got to restart your mt4 so once you've done that you've got to close mt4 and then restart it and what you're going to find is that when you go to indicators and you go to custom you're going to be able to see all your custom indicators so indicators that are not that generally don't come with the mt4 but these are ones that you've actually installed and put in yourself okay so that's kind of uh, how we go about it, the initial fails of installing the ex4 file because i get a lot of questions around that so once the ex4 file is now installed you can go to your indicators you go to custom and then you want to select that file now with our version we have a password okay so we've password protected the um the ex4 file okay because we don't want it stolen we don't want it replicated too much again um, we appreciate the fact that traders come into our program and look at some of the stuff that we do and you watch our YouTube channel so we don't necessarily just want to just put it out there and also we need to make sure the the uh, the ex4 file is also secure so we have a password okay so everyone has to have that password and that password syncs directly which you can't see for me at the moment it syncs directly with your mt4 account number that's given to you by your broker Right, we don't have an MT5 version at the moment, so if you are using MT5, unfortunately, it is not a version that we have. Okay, so most brokers still use MT4, not an issue, but if you do have an MT5 version, then we won't cater to that. So we would say to you that you should probably get yourself an MT4 version to sort of complement your MT5. Right, so you want to put your password in here. Okay, so your password is what we will generate with your account number, so when you first when you first get the x4 file you need to let us know the account number so we can validate that and that should issue a unique password for that mt4 okay so that's where we enter it so now there's no password in now if you don't do this step when you click ok you're going to get a, a, a warning saying that the indicator is not validated basically so nothing will come up right and uh, usually at some point some people are like oh what's going on but that's exactly what it is it's just the password's not in so I'm, I've already got a saved password now you can always save your passwords once you put it in by just clicking save I already have a saved one so I'm just gonna click load right now and I'm gonna pick the one that's saved with the password All right so then just click open and you see you can see it's loaded my password now I can start to adjust a few settings so now that I've got the password in let's say I want my profile as a weekly profile not a daily profile okay so I might want to see about 50 profiles so that's essentially 50 weeks of profiles so I'm going to change this number to 50 and I'm going to go here and select weekly and then I'm going to change my rotations and I'll show you what all those are when this actually loads okay so I'm going to change that to four hours 
Now I can cha can st change my start time, okay? Because again, I've got a lot of questions with people asking me, can I change the start time? Yes, you can change the start time. So if I want to change my start time, remember most brokers are two hours ahead. Okay, so no matter what country you're in, you're going to find that most servers are in Central Europe, uh, predominantly Cyprus. Okay, so they're going to be quite far ahead. So one of the things we're going to want to do is we can adjust that. For me, I'm happy with midnight as a day start time, which will really be 10 o'clock for me. But if I wanted to do that with a shift, I will select my start time to be 10 o'clock and that will give it a bit of a broker shift but again I don't want to do that I would like to keep it simple so I'm just gonna leave it at midnight of course if you live in the US you may want to change this to uh, your US time zone right so this is my start time and it will always start at midnight in Central Europe and 10 o'clock in London okay so remember that two hour shift will not change okay so even if you change the start time to say 9 a.m. you have to check what Cypriot time is for most brokers in order to do that so you want to find out where your broker has the server and then the other thing I want to change is my row size now most people this has been a bone of contention so listen pay attention to this specific point if you switch off now then you're probably not going to be able to use this indicator to its full capacity so please stay watching and actually get this right so row size is essentially what our TPO letters M um, will be so what, what what sort of how many pips would it indicate so that's our row size now because we're working with currency on a weekly horizon we don't want to put two row size that will crash the indicator it would generate too many um, too many letters so that wouldn't work very well so I want to change that so I'm going to change that row size to 10 which is the equivalent of 10 pips okay so every time we print a letter we'll print 10 pips and I'll show you exactly what that means now initial balance you can be flexible with this when I'm working with a week I like to work with about five on the balance okay and obviously once you start learning about market profile properly you will know what that means but I'm not going to get into that now All right now I want to always make sure my histogram mode is false because if I click this to be true then when I load the indicator I'm going to load it as a histogram so I don't want to do that I also want to have hide chart because if I don't have hide chart I'm basically going to see the chart plus the uh, the TPO letters and that might not be good. Now you can use this potentially as a histogram and also making high tra chart false which should give you a bit of a histogram of the indicator and also it should give you uh, candlesticks if you like to trade it that way. So you'll often see traders who deal with volume profile which in my opinion is a half baked way to trade. Uh, any successful trader should tell you if they're not already telling you this that you cannot just trade on volume profile and assume that you understand market profile this will just cost you money in the long run so this is advice worth taking right so you want to ensure that so if you like to trade um, using the somewhat um, histogram based TPOs and looking at your chart as well you can do it that way I personally don't recommend it I would recommend using time price opportunity um, fully rather than you know doing it in this format All right so you can do that and also you can set a I have a white scheme which is to go with the white background you can change that scheme to black uh, or you can change that scheme to custom right so you got um, so you can use your scheme white scheme black scheme I prefer it on white and you can also change uh, the volume uh, bars color which you'll see now I think the version that you guys are using doesn't actually have volume bars on there it may do but I doubt it because there's a bit of a bug with this version so I haven't released this for guys who want the profile for free I um, mean it would just bring a lot of headache and everyone would want to know how to fix it and it's a it's a genuine bug bug that is a limitation of MT4 so I can't exactly fix it right, so uh, value area colors so you can make a few customizations if you want so this is the crux of the data now there's another important thing which often brokers do block API from time to time and there's nothing anybody can do about that because they're worried that people are going to find a backdoor into their servers and ultimately start ultimately start arbitraging them so they do create they close up API so what then happens is that you load the indicator and then you still get the error message despite having a password but well, the issue is the broker's blocked API so it cannot make an API call if this happens then basically you've got to use another broker <laughs> there is nothing you can do uh, in a nutshell brokers should allow API but if they don't it's their prerogative and there's nothing we can do about it so if you loaded the indicator nothing works 
then that is what it is but you need to make one check and i hope you guys are still watching for those of you tuned off oh boy i well then it is what it is you're probably not going to be using market profile on mt4 soon but if you're still watching then you want to ensure that you've got your allow dll imports ticked now this button has to be ticked okay so you want to have allow external expert imports and allow dll imports you want these ticked right if they're not ticked sometimes in some brokers you don't basically it just doesn't work okay so it has to be ticked right so once we've done all of that we've ensured that that's okay then we simply want to click at this stage okay and our indicator should load no issues right it might take some time so you might get a bit of a delay especially if you're running a few things on your machine like i'm doing right now so ultimately that is causing a few uh, niggles but in about a minute or so this thing should load now if it doesn't load if you're still having trouble loading it what i simply do is i click Control i click on the indicator again and then just reload it from the box right now sometimes nine out of ten times it will should load afterwards and exactly that's what's happened so it's loaded so now we can see we've got our tpo chart with all our bells and whistles and everything that we need now you can see that it's quite measured because if i change the row size so let's say i'd set this row size now to two um what some people do is they set it to two what would then happen is that so if i change that now and i just click on my chart it should start to adjust and you see the profile gets a bit elongated and a bit distorted and that's because we've set a really tight row size to read off the mt4 scale so we actually don't want to do that and it will also put some strain on mt4 because it's not really designed to do this so again we're really pushing the boundaries of the system so what i want to do is i want to bring that back to a reasonable row size remember we're dealing with fx here and that should look more or less like this so you get your nice measured elongated profiles which are nice ranges and which so you can essentially see where the market's balanced when it's imbalanced etc so now you have your tpo chart loaded and this is what you want to work with so again if you guys are interested in learning about it now no pressure if you want to learn about it i've got some great udemy programs and i will put them in the description link below Right, so I've got some great Udemy programs that cover this and if you use Udemy before you know that it's not expensive, it's super cheap and there's great value there. I've educated thousands of traders uh, via, via this matter. So again, it helps you understand and work with market profile. I'm an ex-trader, um, I still trade, I use market profile a lot. I sell side, ex-sell side trader I should say and I've done a lot. I used to be, I used to manage dealing desk. So at the end of the day, um, what you need to succeed in this business i can provide okay so just again if you want to learn about market profile you should take a look at the udemy programs which thousands of people are doing so it's up to you really okay so that's that at least that's out of the way so that's how you so if you want to get hold of the indicator if you do any one of the udemy courses um there's a option that just message me for the indicator you can download it directly from the udemy program and then obviously we can get that validated for you and it'll be up and running it's totally free so there you have it so if you want to get into market profile this is probably the way to go and you're an mt4 user right now so lastly before i sign off so again hopefully you guys are still watching uh, i'm not boring you to death at this stage but before i sign off what i'm going to do is i'm also going to put in a little caveat there for guys who trade indices now so if you're an index trader all right so you say you trade the smp now you want to kill you want to make this row size bigger now most of the time let's say you've got uh, you've opened the smp or the nifty the nifty is a popular one i get now a lot of guys from india uh taking on this tool and so if you use the nifty you want to change your row size to something like 1000 or something like 5000 so start with a higher number and then work your way back okay and if you're using something like the dax for example you want to try something like 2000 or row size there's a reason for this is because they're extra digits before and after the decimal place for these things so as a result you need to be able to reflect that in the row size because it still reads the mt4 scale so if you don't essentially do that you'll have issues right now note the indicator works independently from the mt4 so basically you can't say for example that this profile is connected to this date that won't be the case you can actually see that yes um the profiles are developing in a progressive manner so they're somewhat coinciding with the date but if you want to get extra information so let me just close this cancel 
So if you want to get extra information, you'd need to use the drop down box. So if you use the drop down box, you're going to see all the detail you need. So you can actually see the volume associated with the profile. You can see the range associated with the profile, the initial balance high and lows, the point of controls, the value highs and lows. You can also see the TPO account above and below and the total TPO account. All right. So again, for guys who understand market profile, you know, you know, the power and the importance of this as a trader not having this information as far as i'm concerned you're a trader you're done basically you're out of the game you're just gonna lose money it's only a matter of time before you get wiped out right so you know i don't even i don't even consider traders who don't know market profile i think they're already done for and you know it's it's like really direct in my opinion but it's the truth right so take it as you will it is the honest truth you are dead before you even started trading. So I don't care how big that trader says they are. If they don't know market profile, they are done, right? They're probably not, they're pro they are 100%, 100% done. It could be a tough game even when you understand market profile, let alone you don't. Okay, so that's not even for me a topic of debate, you are done. So anyway, there is a lot of information here. So it's independent of the MT4, so you can just use that. So the MT4 is just acting as a conduit for price scale. So as we tick, you can see the TPO's print. So it's an amazing tool that gives you a completely different window into the market. But anyway, awesome stuff, guys. I've got some great videos on the YouTube, so check them out. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment. Uh, great to hear from you guys on this. And again, for those of you who want to use it, just check out our Udemy programs and you can get access to, access to it there. We also have a Discord server where I support hundreds of traders at the moment. Um, that are actually trading with market profile and they're looking to also get that help in hand it's all totally free guys you've got nothing to lose right so check it out well thank you very much for watching it's been awesome and um i hope you enjoy the indicator any questions guys i'm at the discord server check me out check me out i'm not always on I'm, i am a trader i trade and invest in equities as well so i'm quite busy i manage other traders too from time to time so but i am always available so if you need to chat um leave me a message and i'll always try and catch up on the discord i'll put everything in the description link below so just check it out thanks guys pleasure awesome stuff see you guys